Proper nutrient management can be a major factor in having a successful growing season and taking a proper soil sample can set the tone for that success. How you take the sample can dramatically influence the results for better or worse depending on the technique. There are a variety of things to consider before taking a sample. In preparation, it is ideal to decide on the tools you will use. Most generally, a metal probe is used to pull cores from the soil and a plastic bucket is used to mix the cores. Make sure the equipment that is being used is clean and free from rust that may contaminate the sample. Determining at what depth you will take the sample from is important as well. The industry standard is zero to six inches. When obtaining the sample, clearing away crop residue is significant, so the organic matter reading isn't falsely represented. Pushing the probe into the soil straight up and down is key to making sure the correct depth is extracted. Marking six inch increments is also ideal if going deeper than zero to six inches. If the soil is sticking to the probe, WD-40 can be used as a lubricant. The WD-40 will not impact the results of a soil test. Another key factor in the success of taking proper soil samples is making sure that enough sample is taken to fill the Midwest Lab's soil bag to the red line. This ensures enough sample is taken to run all the required testing to perform any reruns or have soil to add on additional testing. Following these simple steps will help make sure a proper sample is taken and the best results are produced. Visit our resource page on our website for sampling guides. We also have an excellent agronomy staff available to assist with any questions you may have. Our field representatives are the individuals who can help interpret the results.